Hi. Do you know what time it is? It's time for a Yokai Watch unboxing video review. So today we're going to be taking a look at unboxing Yokai Watch. 3D, Nintendo 3DS, Japan Yarn, uh, Pouch, or Plushy Pouch, if you want to call it that. It's made by uh, Horai, Horai, and of course you're on Nintendo. So, like the Japan Yarn, because if you don't know Yokai Watch, that's kind of like the, uh, Second main character, oh, potato-ness. I said that because, you know, there's the human, which in the original Japanese one was named, uh, Kenta. And here in Japan, his name is, uh, what was, Nate. That's right. In Japan, his name was Kenta. In the U.S., here in America, his name was renamed to Nate. That's the one who wears the yokai watch. Actually, his first yokai, which should be the main protagonist for the yokais, was Whisper. But since Whisper doesn't actually belong to any tribe, he kind of gets left out. So the first official protagonist that first officially belongs to a tribe that he actually befriends, which is not his actual first befriending, it's like his... Sutton or third befriending. But the most popular and mascot for uh, Yokai Watch is Chibanyan. Because you know, Pokemon, their mascot is Pewtwo. Because you always see a lot of Pewtwo. So for Yokai Watch, it's Chibanyan. So yeah. New Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo 3DS. Um, so it works with. New Nintendo 3DS XL, New Nintendo 3DS, New Nintendo, um, yeah. So let's start over again. New Nintendo 3DS XL, New Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo 3DS XL, and Nintendo 3DS. So, if you have an old 3DS, 3DS XL, the new 3DS, and the new 3DS XL, it works with all of those. Um... So here's kind of what they're saying, so if you have new Nintendo 3DS, it goes in the bottom pouch here. I guess that's where all, so your Nintendo 3DS and new Nintendo 3DS will go in kind of towards the back pouch. But your new Nintendo 3DS XL and your Nintendo 3DS XL will go kind of like in the front here. So that's kind of like what they're saying here. Made in China, designed by Hawaii, 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 Hawaii. I think it's called Hawaii or Hawaii. Yeah, it's kind of hard to pronounce it. In Japan, so this company is in Japan. Well, it's made in China. So yeah, I get this. Made in Japan and made in China and distributed here in America. Yeah. Kind of confusing. So no little inserts, no instruction. Cause come on, it's simple. Let's take it. I actually like this. The plush actually feels really nice. You know, this is something that I would keep as a display or stay at home. Maybe if I'm traveling to like a convention or you know something like that, I'll leave this in a backpack or a suitcase. Just, you know, so this gets a little bit more protection than just, you know, throwing it in my pocket. Like I said, if I'm traveling on a plane, I'll throw, you know, my 3DS in here, obviously. But just to take it around, nah, it's too good. I mean, the plush is really soft and furry, like, almost like putting a real cat. Like my two little cats that I have. <laughs> it's, you know, really nice. I like how they did it. I like how they even made the ear kind of get the little cut out or chew out design right there. It's really nice. So there is a little carbine clip right here. 
Uh, the pouch opens on one side, as you can see. Which, on the back cover... Oh yeah, it does open up on one side, but... Let me see if I hold it like this. Yeah. I thought I would unzip a little bit more. I go all the way to the other side. Nope, it's only one side. Now it looked like in here that there was perhaps another little pocket made to store a game card, but there's not. All it is is a case. So I think this one would go in. Let me see. Oh, no. Mine, 3DS, would not fit in this little pouch right here. Because mine is the new 3DS XL, so it has to go in this pot over here, not in this one. But what you could store in here is maybe some game cards, perhaps some stylus, a small little pair of headsets, those little earbud headphones, um, maybe a little queen and quaff. Uh, you really don't want to put your charger in there. But, yeah, so let's just slide this in. And that's how you find it would look. Actually, it looks pretty nice within there. A little bit more filled out. Uh, he can stand. The face can stand. The head stands. Usually, you know, I thought, you know, you do that and it's going to fall over, but, uh, it stands, so you can actually have it as a display piece without, you know, leaning against, like, the back of something. Um, with the quip, how heavy is it? Um, it's heavy, but it's also kind of light. Just for safety purposes, I would say don't quip this onto anything and carry it, you know. As a little quip, like on your backpack, on your pants or anything. Just because, you know, I don't want this to whip off. Feels like it's sold on there pretty good, but you never know. I just would say don't quip anything on there. Maybe you could quip, you know, something else onto this quip. What, I really don't know, but you could. Yeah, that is pretty awesome right there. The way how it holds it, the way how it feels, the attention to detail and the stitch work. Like a lot of times when they do stitch work, you can see that some of the stitches are overlapping in the one area, or some is coming loose and you gotta cut it and try gluing it or tying it down. But uh, stitch work is fantastic on this. I do say that uh, Nintendo and Hodai, they definitely know what they're doing when they make their part. Because even when you buy like stuff, ammo, plushies, or, you know, like Pokemon and stuff, even some of those, you just gotta take like a small little pair of sewing scissors and just clip it off and, like I said, tie it and glue it. Or, like, See the yellow around his eyes, sometimes that would go all the way to the bright little pupils and you have to cut it. But this one, no, they actually did a fantastic job on the stitch work, detail, how it looks. They actually got it pretty good. I mean, look at Jibanyan's actual face if we look at this little cover here. And just focus it on his face part. A little chip in the ear, chip in the ear. Now these are a little bit purple, and this is pink. I really don't mind. I think it looks pretty cool either way. The inner part of his ear. Uh, they actually got his little calf veins. I would love it if his veins on here was a little bit longer and a little bit bitter. Just a little bit wider and a little bit longer on there. Almost like this length right there. That would have been perfect. That's Probably my only complaint. Uh, his nose is a little bit better than is here. They do have like this little whisper or whip cream or I don't know ice cream, whatever you want to call it, kind of design going here. Or I guess it almost looks like a steam dumpling or a steam bun. 
<laughs> it kind of does. But I know some people say, a white Hershey kiss or Uchiha, I think. That's how you say, you know, when you gotta go number two. Because it does kind of look like that, especially on this one compared to this one. But yeah, like I said, fantastic job that they did on that. Looks almost side down color. Except, you know, sleepy eyes, open eyes. But yeah. That. Uh, I picked this up at Toys R Us for about 15 bucks. Not a bad little pouch, especially if you're into yokai watch and you want to collect things, or if you just love cats and you love collecting like cat plushies and toys, or you just love Nintendo 3DS, you know, case protectors, and you just want to have like different ones to store, you know, extra game cards, um, you know, anything like that in there. Or a stylus. Definitely worth picking up if you love low. Yeah. If you love. Yeah. It's just one of those days, you know. It's, like I said, it's especially worth to pick up if you love low kite. I can definitely tell it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> like I said, it's definitely worth picking up if you love. Love. Yeah. Love. Yokai watch. Yeah, finally got it out to say it. Of course, I'm still fighting a cold while I'm still doing this video review recording. So, do forgive me if some of my words sound messed up and my voice sounds a little bit weird. Like I said, I'm fighting a cold. <coughs> Had it for a couple weeks now. Trying to get rid of the cold, but still trying to pull food and do video reviews for you. Because I know this is what you want. You want to see the new products, how they work and stuff, and where I picked them up at, like I said, 15 bucks, Toys R Us, that has been a video unboxing review of Yokai Watch, Nintendo 3DS, Japanian pouch, remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment, alright, thanks, bye.